Well, are you ready to let go of the baggage in your life that seems to be, you know, dragging you down? It may be a bad habit, a bad relationship. Well, today we are going to break it down into good stuff and not so good stuff. It's all part of this book called Letting Go of Stuff. Everybody has plenty of stuff. And joining us is author Darren Johnson. And we thank you for coming from Nashville. And it's good to be here. Well, we do appreciate it because you're kind of into organization, correct? Mm -hmm. exactly. So even in our life, there's good stuff and not so good stuff. That's Break exactly it down right. for us. Well, sometimes we focus on the not so good stuff more than we do the good stuff. We tell ourselves we're not good at something. We Our internal conversations are more negative than positive. And so this is about creating a positive focus in our lives. So how on do we, purpose. On purpose. On purpose. So mm -hmm. how do we get rid of the bad stuff? We said that could be a relationship. It mm -hmm. could be a habit, right? Mm -hmm. What are, Give me some yeah. examples that might be the bad stuff we need to let go. Well, relationships, uh, guilt, shame, frustration, events that have happened or that we've been involved in in the past that we're trying to shake. Those are the kinds of things that we might want to let go of. Yeah. Changing habits if you want to lose weight, if you're interested in quitting smoking, those are some of the things that you may want to let go of. Now, so how do we end up doing that? Mm -hmm. Because you have a very specific plan of how people can do that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's possible. It's not always easy. And there's a process that you have to go through. And it begins with first taking inventory of the stuff in your life. Identifying what it is that you want to change and accepting and acknowledging that and embracing that first and then beginning to move forward after that. And you said even simply, I know you have some steps in here, questions to answer for people, change, uh, is it resistors? Of course, I don't have my glasses. Change, resi change I can't resistors. change that. I can't let go of bad eyesight <laughs> here in my old age. But anyway, that's one thing. But you actually say you need to write things out. Yes, yeah, so you have to bring things to a conscious level first before you can actually make the change. And by writing or journaling, as we call it, it allows you to consciously become aware of what it is that you want to let go of or change. All right, and then tomorrow, I know you've got a book signing, and you'll mm -hmm. talk to people about this. should be yes. a really interesting conversation. Yes. Is there something recently you've just said, I'm letting go? For me personally? Yeah. Oh, yes. Driving down the, the, on the interstate, a car cut me off. I got angry. I had to let it go. Let it go. <laughs> so all hands stayed like this, right? There That's were no right. gestures. That's okay. right. <laughs> well, thank you. So nice to meet you. I've got thank to learn you. how to just let that one go. Well, if you want to meet Darren Johnson, he's going to be having a book signing tomorrow at Barnes & Noble at the Summit. It is at 2 o'clock. He would love to see you there. Don't let this go.